Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. This is take two. I had somebody come in here and get in my way right when I was trying to make this video to begin with. So, engineering guys, they're a very friendly bunch, but they're very chatty. Um, okay, so what do we got going on today? We have an infant security system um, that's being upgraded. So the vendors are coming out, they're putting in new um, access points, uh, new door locks. Uh, what basically happens is there's a little wristband they put on the, uh, the baby. And you can't see me pointing to my wrist, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, put a wristband on the, the baby that's born and um, this, it tracks where it is in the unit. Um, so this is our NICU, neonatal intensive care unit, premature babies, uh, babies at risk, whatever, they're brought here and uh, they're tracked by these wristbands. If the baby goes outside of a predetermined area, then an alarm sounds and all the doors lock automatically. Well, the thing that locks automatically communicates over the network to the server. And uh, so they're putting in these new upgraded door locks, right? So they come over here and they're plugging them in and they said, hey, we can't see them on the network. So I log into, log into the switch and I'm like, well, oh, I can't see it either. Well, what do you mean? What's the MAC address? I don't see a MAC address on the port. I don't see anything on the port. Well, it, it worked back at our shop, so there must be something wrong with your network. Well, you know, actually kind of, but kind of not. So I said, well, um, I don't know, let's, uh, let's try to figure this out. So while I'm checking all my configs and everything, they said, well, we're gonna go ahead and move along up to the, the third floor, which is our other, which is where the, the babies are actually born. Why this is done on the first floor, I don't know. Anyway, um, so they're putting these door controllers in up there on the third floor, and uh, they said, well, hey, they're all working up here. Huh. So I'm looking, what's the difference between the switches up there and the switches down here? Now, the switches up there are a different model number. They're, they're older. They're older. Huh. So I, um, yeah, I'm looking at the port, looking at the port, and then I notice something. Is that these door controllers are connecting at half duplex. 100 megabit, half duplex. Hmm. I said, okay, well, I'll just set these switches to 100 megabit, half duplex manually. Maybe they're not auto-negotiating, right? Well, they were auto-negotiating just fine. Go to, type in the command to set it to half duplex. It says, this port does not support half duplex. Huh, so I try another port. This port does not support half duplex. So then I actually break out, you know, RTFM. <laughs> I uh, got onto Extreme's website and researched these switches. These switches do not support half duplex. Never have, never will. That's news to me. Uh, it's okay because, you know, most of the world in this 21st century um, actually uses full duplex. Um, <laughs> so I reported my findings to the vendor said, well, that's because your devices are half duplex. These switches won't do half duplex. And they're like, well, huh, every, everybody else does. I said, well, everybody else doesn't have brand new switches, I guess. Um, so I said, why don't you just manually set your door controllers to 100 full duplex? And they said, okay, time passes and time passes. I didn't hear back from them. I called them back. I said, well, how's it going with that? Oh, well, we just found out that you can't, these don't support full duplex. Seriously? In 2023, you guys are using network cards and these door controllers that do not support full duplex? Seriously? Yep. They said, well, before the firmware update, we only went up to 10 megabit. Oh my gosh, I don't know what kind of budget hardware these guys are buying, but... Okay, vendors, any vendors out there watching this? Stroke alert, emergency room. Uh-oh, there's now. a stroke. Stroke alert, Let's emergency wait for this to finish. room, now. Stroke alert, emergency room, now. now. 
<clears throat> somebody's having a stroke, somebody's having a bad day. Um, so any vendors that happen to be watching, come on, <laughs> do not do half duplex. So, and for new guys out there that don't, what's the difference between full duplex and half duplex? Think of full duplex as like the telephone. You can talk and you can listen at the same time, um, like my wife and her mother. <laughs> uh, telephone, you can talk, you can listen at the same time. That's full duplex. Half duplex, think of it like a radio. You have to listen to make sure nobody's talking, press the button, transmit on the radio, let go. Once you're done talking, somebody else can talk back to you. And uh, yeah, early, early on, Ethernet was all half duplex. It was, you know, listen before transmit, but uh, that's not the case anymore, so. All right, so. What I did yesterday to continue the story is I configured this switch, got it out there, mount, brought it out here, mounted it here temporarily, and uh, we tested it on the new door controller because this support, this switch will in fact support half duplex because it's older. Worked fine. So that's the uh, temporary position. I'm going to move it over here to its permanent position and. Um, We'll get back to it when I when I get it moved. Let me let me show you where I'm going to put it though. It's going to go way on down here, the very bottom rack. So you probably can't read what it says on that tag there, but it says infant alarm, and all all those door controllers are plugging in right to this switch down here. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is squeeze that little switch in right there. I was going to put it down below. But then they would be crossing this switch. And I don't want the patch cables to go across this switch, so I'm just going to put it in above this switch. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So yeah, I'm going to put you guys on pause for a few minutes while I uh, finagle that. And then I'll get back to you as soon as I got something to report. Stroke alert. Be right back. Okay, so I was able to slide this in from the back. You can kind of see it hiding there in the cables. And yeah, these, these cables are all going to cross this guy. But because it can be removed from the back, I have no problem doing that. Um, these bigger switches, you can't, can't remove them from the back. These can be removed from the back. I'll show you on this switch because it's easier to see it. So if you look at the size of the switch versus the size of the mounting ears, you can easily slide it from the back and then angle it to get the mounting ears around the, uh, the rails and it'll slide right in. Um, the bigger switches are, are longer and wider and won't do that. So before you guys yell at me for putting it behind a big mass of cables, that's why I'm doing it that way. Shelf alert, emergency room. Shelf alert, emergency room. It's an exciting day here at the Shelf hospital. Shelf alert, emergency room. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and button that up and then move the cables over. And since I don't know how to do time lapse on my phone, I'm just going to put you on pause again. Go ahead and do that and we'll be right back when I'm done. All right, we're back. So let's see, what the heck have I done here? These cables are a little tighter than I would like. Um, it's kind of a tight bend. So I may try to find a little bit longer cable for that. But um, these guys, there were no link showing up for the ports on this switch before. There, now you can see those four or five lights, whatever they are, they're all working. What's odd is they're showing up at 100 meg, but one showing down at uh, one showing up at uh, just 100 meg. So that's what the different colored lights mean. Green is uh, one gig, and uh, orange is or yellow, whatever that is, is a uh, is 100 meg. So. Well, we're going to leave those there. I'm not going to worry about that too much. So we're going to call that good. 
Uh, I'll just let them test when they get in. Now I've got one more to put in. Um, I'm just going to make sure I can ping this switch. Make sure I got the uplink in the right place. Make sure I can ping it. And we'll call this part done. And then I have to go upstairs and install that switch there. But the, um, the guys from facilities are up there, so I'm not going to make you sit through what you just did again. So anyway, that was the job for this morning. Hope you found that interesting, informing, entertaining. And uh, for the people that uh, I got a few comments this, may, this week. Why do you religious people always have to bring Jesus into this? Because Jesus is in everything. And for those of you that don't like to hear his name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I love that name. So, there you go, back of the switches. All right, that's all we got for this week. Uh, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. Um, Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you prefer. And uh, everybody keep praying for each other. So just pray for me, pray for each other. Pray for the needs you know, pray for the needs you don't know. Pray, just pray. All right, everybody, we'll see you next week. God bless.